Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the embryonal germ cell layers and their derivatives. We're going to begin with the ectoderm. The ectoderm has a lot to do with um, the surface or the nerves. Nerves including the CNS, the PNS, and also the neural crest cells. But we're going to combine all of that into this one drawing. So meet Iris. Iris is a shy but pretty girl with many features that people often find attractive, such as her luscious hair, her pretty nails, her glowing skin due to those melanocytes, gorgeous eyes, down to the iris, cornea, the lens, and all the way in to her retina and the optic nerve. Her nose is very sensitive and pretty. She's got gorgeous lips, beautiful cheeks, and a set of pearly white teeth. She's got some ears ready to listen to all of the proposals from attractive guys trying to date her. Physically, she is beautiful down to the mammary glands in her breast and uh, down to the labia majora and the anus. She's the whole package. Now, about her personality, she is a little bit nervous about this whole dating thing. It's been a while. So, her exocrine glands are activated. She's sweating, her adrenal medulla is secreting all of this norepinephrine and adrenaline. And she's also a sensitive girl, so you have to be mindful and respectful. You don't want to make her cry. Her lacrimal glands are very sensitive. And she is also soft and gentle, just like the pia and arachnoid matter in her brain. Her Rathke pouch gave rise to the anterior and posterior pituitary hormones in her brain, which have blessed her with many features that have made her the attractive girl we now see, and healthy. And lastly, she has gotten a wonderful night's sleep because her pineal gland has produced so much melatonin, so she's very well prepared for the big day to meet contenders for her heart specifically for her aorticopulmonary septum. Moving on to our first contender, we've got Mr. Smooth, and he is the hunk with the big muscles. His notochord has given rise to a beautiful straight spine. His muscles all over his body are defined with the exception of the muscles of the iris, because of course he doesn't have her yet. But you know what? His heart is set on this girl all the way through his body in his blood and lymph. And you know how girls like those veins. Much like his hard-headed personality, like the doer matter of his brain, he's got tough skin like dermis. He does take artificial steroids. Therefore, his adrenal cortex is a little confused on how to regulate the cortisone in his body. But that's okay. His kidneys are taking care of it by filtering out all of these toxins in the body and also the lactic acid produced by working out. His, gon his gonads are up and ready to go. This man built like Hercules himself, down to the ligaments, the bones, the tissues, everything in between, comes up to Iris and manages to get a kiss from her. But little did he know, Iris was actually carrying Mono. So now he has to be careful not to overexert himself, or he could get a ruptured spleen. Moving away from the mesoderm and moving into the endoderm, Mr. Smooth is not going to let this mono get in the way of getting his girl. So he goes and gets her a pretty balloon. The endoderm, as the name suggests, deals with a lot of what's inside. The balloon itself was filled with his effort and last breaths while being sick with the mono and it represents all of the respiratory system including the trachea the bronchi the larynx and such the string on the balloon signifies tubes and tracts like the gi tract the liver the pancreas included many glands glands like the thyroid gland the parathyroid gland the submandibular and sublingual gland because he's got that jaw remember Doc, mr smooth had that like chiseled jaw 
It also includes the biliary system, the urethra, all of these tubes in the body, except the posterior parts of the urethra. In women, it would also include the vagina, which is inside, and the inner portion of the labia minora. Lastly, it also includes the auditory portion, the inner and middle ear specifically. So think of it as this needle about to pop the balloon, that loud popping sound. And that about sums it up. What do you think? Do you think Mr. Smooth is going to get the girl? Let me know. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next one.